Megan Berry was supposed to take the oath of office in Public Square Park, but the rainy weather forced a move to the much smaller venue of Music City Center. It was a standing room only crowd there, as Mark mentioned. Our Chris Cannon is inside the Grand Ballroom. And Chris, did you get a sense of why so many people decided to come out today? Well, there were so many people out here, and all of the everyday folks I talked with, the folks who really wanted to be here, said they made the trek downtown for one reason. They wanted to be a witness to history. <laughs> one by one, folks made their way into the Grand Ballroom. So many people came out for the inauguration ceremony, there weren't even enough chairs. People from every walk of life and every age, all of them here to be a part of history. It's very important, I think, because she is the first female mayor, and it's history. In a crowd of a couple thousand, it was easy to spot the children who came out to the ceremony. Two-and-a-half-year-old Blake's parents wanted her to be here to see how the mayor's race ends. She's loved the campaign process of seeing everything when we go to vote and stuff, and I think it's important for her to see that your voice matters in our city. Girl Scout Troop 654 led the Pledge of Allegiance during the ceremony. Those Girl Scouts also had a chance to learn a real-life lesson. It's great for history. It shows that... Anybody can do anything with the power of believing in themselves. And let me tell you. What was happening up on stage Friday during the inauguration ceremony starts a new era for Nashville. And the folks in this audience know no matter what happens, history was made here. And it's a good thing the team of May and Megan Berry's team made the call to make the move here to Music City Center. This was a dry spot at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There were raindrops falling over downtown Nashville, so it was a good move to come here to stay out of the rain. We are live downtown. Chris Cannon, News Channel 5 HD.